Hey friends, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club, and today I am, I love this Bible. This is my ESV uh, journal Bible. I will leave links for all of my journal Bible stuff in the um, video description and over on the website as well. Uh, today I decided to do Isaiah 53 verses uh, 4, and I'm kind of going on through several of them, and I want to use my watercolor ink. I always prepare my Bible journal pages with that clear gesso. Um, I do have a couple videos on the YouTube channel showing how I do that, but today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to take my um, washi tape. This particular washi tape happens to be the exact size to fit some um, letter stamps that I already have in my stash. So I'm hoping, hoping that I can make this idea come to life. And I'm cutting these strips down at about the size that I think I need to fit the letters that I want to do some highlighted Bible journaling with. And I plan to use the letter stamps, alpha stamps, as well as my own handwriting on this. And I'm just trying something completely uh, new and different. And I thought I'd, maybe you'd like to see uh, what I was doing. So um, really just adding these different pieces, different uh, widths and or lengths, I should say. They're all the same uh, width, which is really great to be able to keep consistent for that alpha journal. And then I'm going to take some of my Close to My Heart masking tape. Uh, this is typically what I use, and I'm hoping that that washi tape isn't going to stick too bad or bleed too much, but I have a feeling that washi tape <laughs> may bleed because I couldn't stick it down as hard as I would the masking tape. So my other option would have been if I really wanted it to be perfect, actually use this close to my heart masking tape and cut it down to the size I want. But like I said, that um, masking tape happened, to, or the washi tape rather, happened to already be the perfect size. So we're just going to go with it and kind of see what happens. So all of my pages were already prepped with that clear gesso. Um, I let that dry overnight. And then I do have just my copy paper in between to be able to um, get any bleed through or drip, especially when I'm working with something more wet like these, like these watercolors. So I am taking my watercolor brush. I started kind of dripping a few drops of water to start prepping the paints a little bit. And I'm just grabbing the different colors. I kind of want to create uh, highs and lows of different color stripes and I don't really want it to be a rainbow but I do want to kind of go darker purples down to more of the reds oranges and and yellows so we're going to do some pinks purples blues and I'm just striping it on to get those really cool highs and lows um, I don't have an exact pattern in mind I just kind of want to play with it I'm you know getting these these paints wet and this is really just um, this is an art therapy for me being able to reflect on his word and um, read different scriptures I'm getting some of those more scarlet red colors in here do them up at the top as well um, get those rich merlots because this really is about all that Jesus sacrificed, this is Isaiah um, bringing up that we are healed by his wounds. And um, I wanted to highlight that, especially around, you know, we're still around Easter time, more or less. And the, some of the reflections on that um, really do uh, mean a lot to me. And I will actually go ahead and read you this part of scripture in a minute here. But um, I just want to keep playing with the different colors. I'm getting them, you know kind of opaque the, obviously you know the less water you use the richer the color is going to be um, and again I know this washi tape isn't going to be probably the perfect masking for what I'm doing here but I'm hoping it still is going to give me enough space um, to do the kind of the colors that or the the highlighting of the journaling that I want uh, over these colors so I think it'll work out really well and I'm I'm pretty happy so far with um, just getting those different stripes I wanted to make them pretty thin colorful but I wanted them to really have um, a purpose to this so what Isaiah 53 uh, brings up in verse 4 surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds we are healed. All like sheep we have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord 
has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I just think it is such a beautiful reminder of where our healing comes from, where our peace comes from, even when we selfishly turn our own way. And it says we all have and we all do. But by his stripes, by his wounds, we are healed. And that's from the English Standard Version. Definitely love looking at the different um, versions of scripture and comparing and contrasting and, and really understanding what it meant at the time that it was written, but also it's the living, breathing word of God to our own lives. So it's just encouraging. Now I'm going to take this pink color and I'm really going to um, kind of encapsulate with a heart those very words that I just read to you from Isaiah 53, um, really highlighting and bringing that in and even going to take that pink and anywhere that heart doesn't quite um, reach, I'm going to fill it in a little bit more and just, just make sure those words really um, have some highlight to them. And just having the fun with the different color pinks, kind of going back around, giving it a, a more outlined line and a darker pink or a lighter red color. Um, just again, to have, to have fun, to play with it. Um, don't be afraid to, you know, dab out any of the watercolor with some extra water and then just keep it dry, you know, run it, run the heat gun over it or dab it with a paper towel. I'm hitting it with the heat gun now, just lifting the page up, making sure that none of the masking is sticking, but that the page is dry and that it's not bleeding or going through anywhere else. But with that gesso, it really keeps that bleed through from going even to the other side of the page at all. But you can even see, you know, a little bit of my stripes are going off the page. And that is why I keep just regular white photocopy paper inexpensive and it keeps the other pages of the Bible protected. Now that I have that done, I'm going to grab... Um, a little bit more water just to kind of blend in those colors like I said you know you really have a lot of freedom with that make sure you keep it dry um, as you're working and doing other things and then I'm going to be able to peel up <laughs> hopefully my washi tape so I'm going to grab my little craft knife for this and I know um, heating up the washi tape helps and it did a pretty good job it's not a completely clean crisp mask which I didn't anticipate this washi tape to be able to be but I think it's still leaving me enough space it's not completely bled through um, that I can put in my word stamping that one's not as clean as the others but again with how wet it was and the type of paper it is I'm not surprised um, we're going to kind of sketch it out give it a little border to it and hopefully like I said the words should still really uh, stand out but this is a new kind of way of, of playing with it so I'm just going to do some like sketchy lines I'm not going to um, make it one solid straight line I'm going to make it more like a doodle frame out um, of all of these spaces so everywhere where I have a little bit of that white space coming through even if it's uh, bled through with some watercolor I'm just giving it that frame and I'm um, hoping that you know, my pre-measurements on what I thought will um, withhold the words that I that I want to highlight here. And again, I'm going to use a uh, marker and write some thoughts here at the top. My handwriting's not the greatest in the world. I don't have beautiful, relaxing handwriting to watch, but it's really about, uh, for me anyway, being able to reflect and um journal his word and tell his story. It's something that's been on my heart to do for a really long time. And I keep letting different fear and talk in my head has held me back for a really long time from sharing this content on my, on my YouTube channel and other places. And I just decided 2023, no more, I'm going to share this, um, no more than once a week, but I'm hoping to at least be able to share once a week, some, um, scripture art journaling, as well as continuing to do all of the cricket and scrapbooking and fun things. Um, as well as I go along, I don't want it to just be a, a one dimensional one note thing. I want this to be, um, a fun community where we can really share things that encourage our hearts, our lives to tell our stories, to um, really enjoy the moments and all the things creative she makes her life. And that in includes a wide variety of different things. You know, I do a little crocheting and jewelry making and I love solo wood flowers and my Cricut and all those things are such a gift um, that we can use to be able to tell our stories, to make something with our hands, to create um, it's just an awesome thing to be able to do. 
So these are alpha stamps that I have. They are just from the dollar section at Michael's. I have several of these art basic sets um, and I really like the, the font. So what I'm doing is in that first one, I'm saying he was, and then in that second line, I'm doing crushed and I'm trying to line it all up, which is a really bad idea. I always know this never works. I tried. <laughs> I know lining up these letters like this. <laughs> so we're just going to take a couple at a time. It doesn't always work the way you think it will. And that's okay. So it says he was crushed. And then the next line is going to say by his, and then wounds were healed for the bottom line. Just a reminder that literally his death on the cross gave us the ultimate healing. And even if we don't always see it on this side of heaven, um, and you know, while we're on this earth, we are still promised that by faith and trust in him. And I think that that is a really awesome and precious reminder. So I wanted to highlight and, and do that. And you'll be able to see it a little bit closer as I, as I get in here. And then I decided to add my own little handwriting and just really um, highlighted and, and thought about, talked about, oh, what love and grace. Oh, what love and grace. We do our own thing. And he still chose to die on the cross for us. He still chose that. It wasn't easy. It was filled with tears. Jesus played it with God. Is there another way? But what love, what grace, what healing we can have. And um, I just really wanted to share that today. I hope it encourages your heart a little bit. Um, I know that this is not typical content that you've seen from Megan Elizabeth over many years of doing this with Cricut Creation, but um, I honor you so much for being along on this journey, even if you may not necessarily um, look at this, you know, hopefully you don't look at this as too much of a, a religious thing, but as a faith thing and um, some truth over, over your life and encouragement today. Um, I really enjoyed making this uh, with Anne for you. So thank you for allowing me to do that. I'm going to wrap this up with my handwriting and a few stickles because I love a little bit of glitter and shimmer and I can leave this set out to dry. Remove my masking and here you can take a really closer look. Uh, it's not perfect and I don't think that it's supposed to be. His love is perfect. His grace is perfect. But man, what a mess we can make sometimes. <laughs> So I hope that you enjoyed this today. I'd love to invite you into She Makes Club. I don't do a whole lot of Bible journaling inside of She Makes Club, although I do share several things um, about heart and faith and uh, journaling, but more about cricket and scrapbooking and telling your story. I thank you again for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Please like and share, and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy the moments.